Like I'm living my truth, I'm looking like a zookeeper. Mind your business. This is the only thing that'll fit me in Urban Outfitters. Ha! Huh. You can use your imagination, because that's all you're getting. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming one of my first sit down videos in almost a year, which is kind of crazy. I don't remember the last time I did one of these videos and honestly, I kind of miss it. I definitely love the spontaneity of my vlogs and how I can just like pop the camera down and show you guys things that I bought. But today I deserved a full sit down video because your girl has been shopping. I was showing Sam last night all the things that I bought and I'm like, you know what? I think I just doubled the size of my closet. Hope you guys enjoy this video video if you're new make sure to subscribe down below I guess we'll start off with the first thing in front of me and the only thing I bought from Urban Outfitters because like this is the only thing that'll fit me at Urban Outfitters ha huh. I did a poll on my Instagram or my snapchat story my private to see if I should get it resounding answer was yes I got a lot of swipe ups on that one Thank you everyone. Aww. Was it a waste of money? Probably, but I will be wearing it for the 4th of July next weekend and I wore it all that weekend with Chloe so it was really fun why not? Starting off with Abercrombie. I haven't been back to Abercrombie in years. I went once over Black Friday, I think this past year, but it was so busy that I just didn't even look around. But I picked up two things here. I definitely spent a lot of money. Not really, but like their stuff is like pretty well priced. <laughs> if you will, it's not like Marshall's. So it's definitely a little bit more expensive, but when I tried on these pieces, I knew it was worth it because I really, really liked the way that they looked on. First of all, I got this exercise dress. I've had a couple exercise dresses. I have two from Halara and I really like it and it's really good quality, but it is just like a little bit more clingy to my lower stomach than I would like. And so I really like how this one is a lot thinner of a material. I wouldn't necessarily work out in it when am I gonna work out in an exercise dress? I just wear these around much like I wear my tennis skirts around. I don't wear them to work out, I wear like shorts. I will say I'm pretty much always a large, especially for my chest. And this is actually a little big on me. So I didn't try on the medium. Perhaps that would have fit a little bit better up top and everywhere else, but the large still fits and it's really flattering. So I really like it. And then I also got this dress. This was a little bit on sale I think maybe like 50% off I want to say I got it for like 36 40 around there and it's just this button-down dress I think that this could be good for work to be quite honest I don't know what the dress code is <laughs> working in like a tech marketing role so I assume it's pretty casual not like actually casual but business casual and I think for the summer this with like loafers would be fine have to confirm on that regardless this is a really cute dress and I could totally I'll wear it in and out of the office and moving on to H&M which is honestly like one of my all-time favorite stores especially in the summer they just have the best stuff i did two trips to h&m and this first one was from a while ago but i wanted to show you guys because i still have the stuff in store i saw it the other day this top is like the most flattering thing i own it's this like skin tight light top and with a tan it just looks amazing really just like makes your collarbone and chest pop and i got this in a medium and it fits me perfectly and it's long sleeves good for the winter and i love to pair it with these jeans from H&M, which are my now ride or die, like straight leg classic jeans. They're perfect for going out and they just like really fit me perfectly. Now I found in jeans, like real quality denim, like this one, is it quality? I don't know, but it feels quality to me. I size up one size and that fits me perfectly. So it's a little loose around my waist. I don't like my jeans to be too tight or too constricting. And since these don't really have any stretch in them, I definitely want them to fit. Don't be afraid to size up. People are sometimes weird about like getting a different size than what they think they are. Just get whatever fits you best because in the end you'll wear it more. So these jeans are fantastic. So is this top. And then right before Europe, I was like, oh, I have like nothing to wear, but I didn't really have like cute, fun clothes. I had a lot of going out clothes and a lot of very, very casual tennis skirts and t-shirts for class. I got first this dress here, which I just love. Has this little frill up top. Is it the most flattering when I turn to the side? No, but it's totally like Parisian, fun, exploring South of France vibes. I got another midi dress. It's kind of the theme of this haul is I got a lot of midi length dresses this one I actually wore to my brother's graduation this past weekend and it's just this blue and white pattern I got a large in this I could probably have sized down to a medium because it was a little loose up top and in the midsection and I think it probably would have been 
a little bit more flattering to do a medium especially since it's this like stretchy ruched material but nonetheless very forgiving very cute and great for just gallivanting in the summer another kind of summer gallivanting dress this one's a shorter one reminds me a lot of chloe <laughs> feels like something she would own i wore this to my brother's graduation party and it's just this cute top with the puff sleeves and it's actually kind of longer which is nice especially for an occasion like that where you want to be a little bit more conservative you could do it with a sandal dress it up or you could do it with a sneaker dress it down for walking around town very cute dress take a shot every time i say cute this shirt i actually have yet to wear just because i didn't have space to pack it for europe it's just this really fun top it almost kind of looks like a hawaiian shirt but i think this with a white pair of jeans or a white pair of shorts just really fun for the summer very tropical beachy and it's this button down i got this in a size medium and it fits me perfectly it's still a little oversized which i like but i don't like things to be too big so the last thing i got from h&m is this top which is super cute this could totally be dressed up or down i picture this in the summer with like some white jean shorts i wore that with chloe it was super cute or you could even wear this with a leather jacket and a leather pant in the winter and some boots the shirt's gonna be super versatile it's super light and just like very easy to throw on next up this goes out to all of my british followers i don't know how many of those that i have but chloe told me about primark and i had to go check it out when i was over in the uk it was so fun my mom and i like literally were in there for two hours so i got a lot of stuff there i definitely could have spent more time and money there but we had to get out eventually so i'll show you guys the two pairs of shoes that i got i got first these high top sneakers which are just super fun and they were like 10 bucks so why not and then i also got these fun little loafers i've learned that i can't really walk in these because like my feet get really sweaty which is kind of gross but these could be good for like keeping at the office if you want to like change into these to wear during the day just like add a fun pop of color to your outfit if you're not walking too far i actually wore this this combo together when we went on the boat in france and super cute i just love the green been loving green a lot lately you guys will see that more later then i got two more dresses because i can't be stopped i got this one which chloe actually owns and they only had it in a size up so i might have to get this taken in it doesn't not fit me it's just like pretty loose but it is just this cute midi length dress it's part like i feel like i need to go to a garden party that's where all these dresses need to go if i went to the hamptons i could wear that there you know that's the vibe this other one i've worn a couple different times and i've worn it both times to walk around like a city and i need to remember that this doesn't have a slit and so it's quite constricting because i have really long strides so like every time it like stopped me and then the last thing i got are just these cream pants from primark they cut off kind of right above the ankle these are really chic i think and i have a pair of white pants but i think the cream is really fun and i also saw a pair identical to this at zara for over double the price so definitely going to pick them up at primark see if i'm gonna wear them i was up visiting chloe this past weekend up in leesburg and we had a good time at the leesburg outlets in georgetown shopping so the next couple items i will show you guys holding up i'm not gonna try them on just because not appropriate for the channel i don't think first i got this top from anthropology of all places it's this red top and it goes up like this and you're supposed to tie it up like that but i'm actually crisscrossing it here and then tying it up into a little halter it's super cute i'm gonna wear it for the fourth of july and then i went to the area outlet with chloe the swimsuits were on crazy sale they were 50 to 70 percent off so i got two whole swimsuits for 42 dollars, which is cheaper than the one piece that i got which is crazy the bikini set that i got is just this halter bikini top but you actually cross it over and tie it up in the neck i think that that's like a super flattering style it looks like that you can use your imagination because that's all you're getting aries really known for that like crisscross style that's super flattering so i got them in black they just crisscross in the front i've tried on high-waisted bikinis before i like them in theory but a lot of them look like a diaper from the back because they're like full coverage and i didn't want that i wanted something just like a little less and that's not even like low coverage that's like still good but these are like high cut too so i think it's just a little bit more flattering makes you just look snatched the one piece that i got i think was originally yeah 55 dollars and i got both of these swimsuits for 42 so that's amazing it looks <laughs> it's basically a two-piece that's attached it just looks like this up top give or take and then it has like these high-waisted bottoms it's just really flattering you guys should definitely go either order online at airy or even if you have a store nearby go try on some of the swimsuits they're so cute and they're really flattering and really pretty inexpensive especially if you catch them 
on a sale. So this is where the haul starts to get real collective because I, as you guys know, for years am a huge Marshall stan. My first video ever on this channel was a summer collective haul, which how endearing. It's like, what is this now? Is this like my eight year YouTube anniversary? Seven years, something crazy. It's been a long time. I have been shopping a lot more than I care to admit and so I just decided to combine everything into a haul and call it a collective haul because I have been collecting. I have been shopping at Marshalls a lot. These are over like a prolonged period of time so I definitely didn't get these all at once. Definitely check out your Marshalls especially these days because I have at least like three or four pieces in here from Zara and they were like 10 bucks a piece which is so much cheaper than Zara is. Obviously Zara is known to be cheap. In my opinion like it's not that cheap. Some of the stuff is it depends if you get it on sale but if you can find it at Marshalls, it's the key to go. I feel like you guys have seen actually like half of these pieces, but I just wanted to share. First of all, this green top. I wear this literally all the time if you watch my vlogs. I love the green. I think it really just like complements my hair and my eyes really well. And I wear this all the time. It's super soft. Then this white top. It's a linen-y type of top. I haven't gotten the chance to wear this yet. And I'm not really sure what I would pair it with. Maybe do like an all white look. Maybe like the cream pants and like the green shoes or something fun. I don't know. I need to figure out how to style this and if not, I might give it to my mom because I don't really need it taking up space in my closet. If you guys have an idea, let me know in the comments. Then I got a couple different ruffle shirts from Marshalls. This one's from Zara. I love the detailing on the side and I wore this for promo districts because it's super fun. Another Zara shirt here. This is a more recent find. Very New York. I feel like shoulder pads, crop top, makes me look like I have like muscles, although per, been lifting my weights. This is just super cute for like going out or you can make it more casual, but I feel like definitely going out is the vibe. We have a theme here, um, another shoulder pad shirt. This one's really fun. I paired this with my leather leggings and little black fry boots to go out and I did my hair kind of like this back. It was actually in a slicked back ponytail, but with my pieces out front and it was just kind of like badass, I felt like. So New York chic, you know, we're trying to be cool. I also got this other green top also from Zara again just been obsessed with green. My grandma said it was my color. So because Mimi said it, I have to wear it all the time. And this is my most recent purchase. I got this on clearance for $16 and it needs to be buttoned in the middle, but it's just this really cute work top. I would wear this with like a white work pant and some loafers. It's cute for what it is. This is actually an XL, which I found fit my chest a little bit better. And it's just, it's very flattering. I've been buying a lot of beachy things. I live in Richmond, Virginia, like not the beach. And I'm moving to New York City. So I do like the shirt. I just don't think I have styled it enough. I think this with like a white short and like some sandals just for chill vibes. Maybe my Bejas. But I do like the purple. I think it's really different and been really into that lately. This dress I got for one reason and one reason only for valedictory exercises. I don't love this dress the way that it looks on me. I actually wore it. This is the front way. I wore it the backwards way which has a little V in the front just because I feel like it's a little bit more flattering. So it's not so high neck because I have a pretty short neck. Emma actually has this dress and she has a longer neck and it looks a lot better with her. So I think that the backwards way definitely is better for me. I will say it's a little short, but nothing we can't handle. But it's good for like a church thing or something where you have to be a little bit more conservative. These are good to have in your repertoire. And then this romper, I was with Sam when I found this. It's just so fun. This is from Zara actually, and I do look like a zookeeper when I wear it, but it's fabulous. I just have been very in the mindset of wear clothes that you like. I mean, obviously you should be doing that, but especially even if it's like not very flattering from the side or whatever, who cares? Like literally who cares? Like this, is this the most flattering from the side? No, because my chest puts, pushes it out and I could be six months pregnant. That's okay. You know, like I'm living my truth. I'm looking like a zookeeper. Mind your business. Now from Target, like guys, Target's kind of been popping off. I would be buying more of my mini dresses there if I didn't buy these other places. They really just have some cute stuff. And my favorite line that they have right now is the Who What Wear collection. I got this green top from there. And I think I'm actually going to wear this on the first day of my work or my job. I just love the green. I love the ruffles. And it's funny because when I found it, it was like buttoned up like this. I was like, who? on earth would wear a shirt like that but i just love again the green i'm into the green also if you're in the market for new little athletic shorts i have this pair here as well as a white pair they literally look like lulu without the like they literally look like Lulu without the logo. They run a little bit big because I get a large and they're like a little bit loose, but that's how I like them. They have a little drawstring on the inside if you really need to make them tighter. They have a pocket, like 
I love these shorts. I want them in every single color. Then we have my graduation dress, which I weirdly found at Target. Chloe actually found it and I tried it on. It did shrink a little bit in the wash, which is okay because I really only needed to wear this one time. It still fits. It's just a lot shorter. And then the last thing from Target, I again haven't worn yet. I could still like go to more dinners or something. I feel like that's going to be more the vibe once I get to New York. I mean, obviously I'll still be going out, but like a dinner moment. I have a lot of dinner things now. And this shirt is one of them. It's really flattering. It's a one shoulder. It's tight, but it's not too tight. And then the last two things are from Dear Old Zara, which my mom and I went to when we were in London. And like, I won't be doing that again. It was literally the most heinous experience. We were in there for hours and I was sweating. We waited in line for the dressing room for over 30 minutes. And I was just like, what is going on? My mom walked out with way more than I did, which is funny. She's never shops there, but I just got this little white button down shirt. It's really cute. I think that this with a tan, like gold watch, gold jewelry, really just is very summery, especially with either the loafer if you want to like dress it up or you could do like a tennis shoe if you want to dress it down. I will say I got this in a medium and I still think it's too big. It's just like, again, not the most flattering from the side. We're trying to get past that, don't worry. It's super cute and definitely like oversized look is very in. The last thing I have is this dress, which I have a love-hate relationship with. I washed it in cold and it shrunk. Like it's very short now. I'm not sure if it got any shorter from the second time that I washed it but the first time it was very short so maybe I just need to steam it and it'll make a little bit better but I'm really like disappointed about that because I love this dress it has this collar it's a little tie it's very cute I love the pattern it looks way more expensive than it is they also had a green one which I really liked but I went with the pink if nothing else this could be like a good work from home like remote dress because you'll be seeing from here up and it just looks like a little collar dress but yeah interesting on that proceed at your own risk perhaps get a drug cleaned i don't know if you'd believe it that's the end of the haul because we've been talking for literally hours at this point i really hope you guys enjoyed and if you think i have a shopping addiction comment down below actually don't do that or maybe you should i will for sure link anything and everything that i can find for you guys i do not gatekeep and if you guys have any questions please leave them down below for me in the comments any video requests anything like that i love interacting with you guys and i'm really excited for this next chapter for my channel. I think it's going to be amazing. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe down below. I make new videos about once a week and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>